In this short video, I'm going to show you how to download rainfall depth for a specific return period and for a specific duration for a study area that you want to do your research on or you want to do your homework on. I am going to select the state. Um, I'm, for, for an example, for this example, I'm going to choose Pennsylvania. I'm looking for depth. This time I'm not looking for intensity. I'm looking for rainfall depth. The units should be metric units, SI, and I'm going to select annual maximum data. Perfect. And ne next you need to select the station or location that you want to. Um, my study area is in, located in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and I have the coordinate systems for that study area. And I will submit it. There we go. So this is located over here, and the latitude and longitude match latitude and longitude over here. Uh, right now, if I go down, this table gives me rainfall depth for different durations and different exceedance probability. So meaning that the denominator of this fraction is year, two year, five year, 10 year, 25, all the way to 1000 year. What I wanna find is for 25 year rainfall and 24 hour rainfall. So this is 24 hour this row and um, 25 year would be over here so the value that I'm looking for is 137 uh, millimeters so I'll keep this number in mind 137 and I will go in Excel to show you how you can input this number into your Excel sheet to get NRCS 24 hour distribution out of it this is the Excel file that you have access to as well. As you can see, there is a cell that asks you to input total amount of precipitation in millimeters uh, when you're using metric units or in inches when you're using uh, US customary units. So the value that I read from the website was 137 millimeters for a 24 hour uh, rainfall 25-year return period for my study area in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania is located in Pennsylvania over here, right in the middle of it, which lays in type 2 distribution of NRCS map. So what I'm going to use is this column, which is type 2, and it represents fraction of rainfall. P divided by total rainfall. So this is a fraction and this is time from zero all the way to 24 hour. And that's why it's called NRCS 24 hour rainfall. All right, so I'm gonna create um, a column over here. P in millimeters is going to be equal to uh, this, the ordinates of type two rainfall times total rainfall. I'm gonna press F4 so it locks that cell for me and then calculate it for all x values or all time from zero to 24 hours. Now, this is cumulative rainfall. What do I mean by that? So if you create a graph of rainfall versus time, you will see that this value, y-axis is um, cumulative rainfall in millimeters and x-axis is time you can see that the rainfall is increasing, it's cumulative. However, we know that rainfall is not all increasing in 24 hours. It starts from smaller rainfall, then it peaks, and then it goes down. So what we want is not cumulative rainfall, but it's incremental rainfall. So I am going to write over here, incremental rainfall in millimeters and it's going to be, the first one is zero. The second one is going to be the second ordinate of rainfall minus the first ordinate of rainfall. And then you select that cell and apply it to all the other cells. And this would be your incremental rainfall. Now let's graph the, these two columns to see how it looks like. Perfect. This looks like a rainfall that I'm looking for. It starts from smaller rainfalls, goes high, and it peaks, and it goes down. So we can make this a better representative by adding 
access to it, time in terms of um, hour, and then y-axis is incremental rainfall in millimeters. And then you can also add um, the study area to it. My study area is Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. You can also add latitude and longitude. And um, you can make it different um, styles of graphs to make it more clear. Also, since we have only 24 hours, I'm going to change the maximum from 30 hours to 24. So it's a better represent and also change the minimum value from negative 1 to 0. Perfect. So this should be a better representative of rainfall. And also it shows you the NRCS 24 hour rainfall for the return period of uh, 25 years. Similarly, you can do the same process for different regions, for different locations, and for different durations.